After constructor, we're going to create our first method, which will be called connect, and it will be basically connecting to the database. So private function connect. And what we do is try and catch statement. In catch, we're going to catch PDO exception represented by E and then echo E get message to basically print on the page what problem there is and then exit to obviously terminate the script after this. Now inside of the try uh, section we're going to do this object DB new PDO uh, instance of the PDO class and we pass in the parameters mysql uh, actually, let's lo use the double quotes here so that we can use curly brackets in order to put the property value, uh, properties directly in, in, this, uh, in this string, basically. So host equals and then curly bracket this underscore db host. Uh, then we have semicolon db name equals this uh, db, sorry, underscore db name. And after double quotes, uh, comma, then this uh, underscore db user, user, and then this underscore db pass for password. Then we go for the array. Uh, let me just tidy this up a little bit. I'm going to move this a little bit lower here. Um, okay, then this one on a new line, this one on a new line, and array is also going to be on a new line. Let's close this line now so that it's a little bit clearer what we're doing here. Scroll up a little bit. Okay, and we're going to use PDO attribute persistent equals true, as we want to use persistent connection to the database, meaning that uh, at the end of the script, the, the connection to the database is still open so that we don't have to open it again whenever we're gonna basically request some information. Uh, okay, after this uh, assignment here and the class definition obviously we go for di this db sorry object db exec and we're going to set character set here to utf8 so set character set utf8 and that's all inside of our connect method <laughs>